Hello there everybody, welcome along to Football Park's betting preview with me your host Gab Sutton. So as always I'll be revealing my predictions for the Championship League 1 and League 2 as well as one or two outside shots. So remember you can use the link in the description below to get £50 in free bets when you place £10 with our friends at Copybet. But always gamble responsibly whether you're backing my picks or your own. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. So in the Championship, I'm backing Norwich City to beat Hull City in the 12.30 kickoff. Really liking what I've seen from Johannes Hoff Thorup. Um, they started slowly in that opening day at Oxford, but they improved gradually in the next couple of home performances. And since then, they've taken 10 points from their last five games. So really impressive, I think. I think we're, he's implementing his ideas, his positional play uh, really well. And they've got a couple of star individuals like Borja signs and Josh Sargent up top I think he is possibly the best striker in the championship so I'm backing at Norwich at 10 to 11 I'm also backing Sheffield United at 9 to 10 they're at home to Luton Town Luton have had a really disappointing start as a fellow relegated club from the Premier League they've looked far too open and they've looked wasteful in front of goal and they've had several issues in midfield whereas I think with Sheffield United um, they've got some star quality in the team they've been solid defensively but Gus Hamer and Callum O'Hare have already linked up very nicely, uh, rekindling that relationship they had at Coventry City. So Sheffield United, I fancy, at 9-10. to 10. And I also like West Bromwich Albion to beat Millwall. I think to get them a shades of odds on um, at 20-21 to 21 is a very good price. Millwall are strong at the den, of course, but they do have problems away from home, whereas West Brom have uh, an assist king in Tom Fellows and a serial goal scorer in Josh Madger. Um, and I'm backing Carlos Corbran to make any group of players he has better. So I'm backing uh, Norwich City to beat Hull City at 10 to 11. I'm backing Sheffield United to beat Luton Town at 9 to 10. And I'm backing West Bromwich Albion to beat Millwall at 20 to 21. And if you want to put all that into a treble, you can get a nice 6 to 1 with copy bet. Into League 1 we go. Um, I'm backing Bolton Wanderers to beat Shrewsbury Town this weekend. Bolton have got three wins on the spin. They um, That 4-0 home defeat was a bit of a wake-up call, wasn't it, for Ian Everts' side? Because he had talks with the hierarchy, realised he had support behind the scenes. He changed formation, went from 3-4-3 to 3-5-2. A bit more support in there for Josh Sheehan. Uh, Sheehan's been outstanding in the last three games in which they've scored a whopping 11 goals. And Dion Charles has been the marksman uh, up top alongside Victor Adeboyeje. So, big on Bolton. Uh, I think they'll beat Shrewsbury and I'm backing them at 1-3. to three. Um, But I'm also backing Birmingham to win at Charlton, which we can get... At 7-10, to 10, um, I love the togetherness of this Blues squad. They've got lots of stardust and individual quality. But what I really liked was when Alfie May, um, Jay Stansfield squared it selflessly for May to finish the winner against Huddersfield. And May immediately ran over to Jay Stansfield to thank him for the assist. So it shows, even though they're competing for similar positions, Stansfield and May, they've got a great understanding with one another and got great. Uh, they want, they've want they got the team's best interests at heart. So uh, a really good spirit about this Birmingham side and seven straight wins they've achieved for the first time since December 1946. Um, so really impressive from Birmingham's point of view. Um, but I also like Wickham Wanderers to beat Crawley Town. That's 52 to 100 you can back. Um, I like Wickham Wanderers' squad. They've got Richard Kone in there who looks a real, really serious talent they've plucked from non-league uh, and they've got lots of proven EFL quality in there as well whereas Crawley I think are due a transitional period after Scott Lindsay left they've appointed Rob Elliott to replace him but I think without Lindsay it's going to be tough for them so I fancy Bolton Wanderers to beat Shrewsbury at 1-3 to three. Birmingham City to win at Charleston Athletic at 7-10 to 10, and Wickham Wanderers to beat Crawley Town at 52-100 to 100. If you want to put all that into a treble, you can back that one at 2-1. to one. And finally into League 2, uh, I like Barrow to beat Cheltenham at 13-10. to 10. Barrow have looked uh, really fluid so far this season under Stephen Clements, and they've surprised a few people actually, um, especially with the left-sided combination of um, Ben Jackson and Katia Kuwate. Um So I think, um, yeah, I think Barrow are strong. I think they'll beat... Um, Cheltenham Town at 13 to 10. I also, like I mentioned Scott Lindsay earlier, I think MK Dons could beat um, Tranmere Rovers at 5 to 8 with Liam Kelly. Um, I think he's going to star under his former Crawley manager. 
and I also like uh, Notts County um, to win this weekend as well. Uh, they're at home to Port Vale, and you can back that one at 13 to 10 with the quality, the vision of uh, Dan Crowley, the create the quality of David McGoldrick, the athletic goal scoring of Alessandra Jatta, and the brilliance of Jody Jones. They're going to be quite the proposition, aren't they? So Notts County at 13 to 10, uh, Barrow at 13 to 20, and MK Dons at 5 to 8. You can back that one at five to one um, and if you fancy a long shot there's also Oxford United to win at um, Portsmouth they've acquitted themselves very well since promotion from League One last season whereas Portsmouth have had a lot more difficulty they're still winless and they lost 6-1 at Stoke in midweek so Oxford at 19 to 10 and um, as the away side I really like and I also think Sheffield Wednesday are underrated at Coventry City a Coventry side that have struggled so far this season and Wednesday, who are at their best, one of the top sides in the league. Chef Wednesday are as big as 13 to 5. So there are my selections. Championship uh, treble, Norwich, Sheffield United and West Brom. You can get that back, that one at 6 to 1. In League 1, Bolton, Birmingham and Wickham. You can back that one at 2 to 1. Barrow, MK Dons and Notts County in League 2 is 5 to 1. And my long shots are Oxford United to win at Portsmouth at 19 to 10 and Sheffield Wednesday to win at Coventry at 13 to 5. Um, those have been my selections. Follow the link in the description below to get £50 in free bets when you pay £10 with our friends at CopyBets. But always, whether you're backing my tips or, or your own, uh, please gamble responsibly.